guys, I'm Melissa Schumann and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Some of you might remember me from a girl group from the early 2000s called Dream. Others, maybe you've seen me on TV, maybe you've seen me in movies, and for others, you probably don't know who the heck I am, but no matter who you are, welcome. I'm so excited to have you and meet you. Um, so basically, I have a blog called Melissa Explains It All. I'm very frank, I'm upfront. I talk about everything from beauty to lifestyle to momhood to womanhood. You get it, I put it all out there and I'm just excited to engage with all of you. Uh, meet you guys and let's get started. I thought that a really good way to ease me into this YouTube thing was to maybe start with my skincare routine. So my skin is sensitive, it's dry, and it's acne prone. I have hyperpigmentation. I have a lot of issues with my skin. I've, I've gone to estheticians before, I've gone to the dermatologist of course before, and I just feel like nobody's ever really been able to help me like I've been able to help myself. <laughs> this is what I do for my skin. I love Alba Botanica. You can get this at CVS, Walgreens, Marshall. And I actually have found that this has significantly decreased uh, breakouts at all. Like I very rarely get a breakout anymore, which certainly helps with the acne scarring. And what I love about this is there's no parabens, there's no phthalates, there's no synthetic fragrances. It's 100% vegetarian ingredients. It does have 2% salicylic acid, um, which you would think would be super drying for my skin, considering that I have dry skin as well, but it doesn't. And I feel like for me, it's all about exfoliation. I exfoliate probably more than the average person. Um, because I'm also on Retin-A, but more about that later. It's kind of a holy grail product for me, and I love the fact that it's super cheap. I've tried other more expensive products, and I just find myself going back to this. It's just worth it. I use this Mia Clarisonic. I've had it for a few years. Um, I know there's better ones out there, but I like it. So I use this. If I don't use this, sometimes I will rotate between my facial scrubber and this is what this kind of does. I went and got a facial one time and she used this and I became addicted because it does extractions. It's... <laughs> this has to be a common YouTube thing. <laughs> this is a facial scrubber. I cannot remember the brand off the top of my head. I think it's like Cozy Beauty. I got it off of Amazon. I'll put the link below if you are interested in checking it out. Basically, it has all these different modes on. What I do use this for is for exfoliation and for extractions. So if you like to extract, <laughs> this is really fun. So this is a great way of basically like extracting a pimple without making it worse. It's very gentle and uh, and I highly recommend it. Um, I use a the Mario Badesco skincare. This is a glycolic acid toner. It's 2%. My husband actually uses a the Ordinary glycolic, which is a 10%. I tried it. It was way too strong for me. It just irritated my skin a little bit too much. Sometimes I'll use it like once a week if I right before bed, but I'm sticking with the Mario Badesco. I use this morning and night and I just find that it really helps keep my like the dead skin cells off because Lord knows I am always flaking. The next thing that I do is I kind of rotate, but I love marula oil. Um, the first marula oil I ever tried was by Rodeol, which I still stand by, I love, but it's $80. It's very expensive. Um, occasionally I have found it at Marshalls and when if you ever find Rodeol, um, marula oil at Marshalls you need and they have like multiple of them there you need to just trust me stock up on it because I think I must have gotten it for $9.99 maybe $16.99 max and it is was just phenomenal for my skin it gives you a wonderful glow and so anyway so I was really excited when I heard that the ordinary just came out with their 100% cold pressed virgin marula oil um, I don't think I love this as much as the Rodeol, but I don't hate it. So I feel like for the price, 
I don't know if it's definitely under $10 or maybe it's 12. I don't know. I'll put it in the link below. I also only in the morning. I don't use this at night because it is a vitamin C day cream. I really liked it. I really liked this. I was surprised by it. My mom actually is obsessed with bliss cosmetics or products. Um, and I thought, well, I really should probably get on a vitamin C regimen or, and I actually do feel like it, this has brightened my skin up. Again, I get a lot of, I'm also a mom and so I, my son is seven years old now. So it's been some time since I was actually pregnant, but even so for those of you who have had children or you guys are mother, your mothers yourself, uh, we get hyperpigmentation because of those pregnancy hormones and they don't necessarily just go away after the baby's born. So for me, I noticed I started to get a lot of hyperpigmentation literally right up on my orbital, orbital, ugh, who could say that? Orbital bone. And uh, it drove me crazy. I mean, even when I put concealer on, I felt like I could never cover it up. So, but with the skincare routine, it's actually calmed down that hyperpigmentation. And then this uh, has definitely helped brighten my overall complexion. And I really like it. Last but not least, I love this so much. I want to buy stock in it. And I don't know if you can buy stock in Tretinoin, but if you can, I'm buying some. Um, so this is essentially, it's Retin-A. Um, I've been put on Retin-A before uh, in my 20s um, by my dermatologist because of my acne breakouts, um, but have really come to appreciate and love it in my 30s. Um, it's ba it is basically vitamin A, which is amazing for the skin. Um, it's also very irritating when you first start this out. So you have to start it out very slowly and I'll do another video if you're interested let me know in the comments below on how I integrated this without completely making my skin freak out but this is the 0.05% uh, generic um, I started with a 0.25 and um, once my skin started to get uh, used to that strength, I was able to move up, and then I think I'm actually going to go back to my dermatologist and move up to the 0.1%. But this is great. It actually helps um, produce more collagen in the skin. Um, it helps with cellular turnover, so you just have fresher, younger-looking skin. It will, over time, decrease you know the amount of wrinkles, premature wrinkles that you have, or even if you have deep set wrinkles, it'll help smooth that out over time. It, but the thing with Retin-A is this is kind of, you don't, you're kind of married to it. You don't just stop. Um, you can't just stop. So, um, but yeah, I really love it and I highly recommend it. And yeah, I think that that is it. I, I made it guys. I did it. I've made my first YouTube skincare it's not a tutorial, but I guess it's a review. I don't even know. You tell me what it was. <laughs> For those of you who watched this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're not already following me on my Instagram and other social media, please do. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to meet you. Uh, my The links to all my socials are in the description box. And uh, if you guys have any videos specifically that you'd like to see me make, let me know. I'm totally open to it. Um, and yeah, until next time. Thanks, guys.